long time no story time yes so today i'm going to be telling you all about the time that i was bullied mercilessly on the internet like me <laughs> this me that you are seeing here let me adjust myself in case you're not seeing me very well this me that you guys are seeing here i was bullied badly on the internet and because of it then um, i feel like there's this um how do i put it now i feel like there's this 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 genuinity no we're not being genuine i don't know what the word is when you're not being genuine okay i feel that there's that kind of insincerity surrounding the topic of oppression in the society because we tend to make it you know a narrative that men are the oppressors and women are the victims okay so this my story is just a prime example that sometimes women can be very vicious okay because in this my story the people who gave me you know the worst time of my life they were all women like me okay yes so the story goes back to 2021 oh not 2021 2012 <laughs> how did my brain flip it okay 2012 when i was a blogger okay yes i used to blog i had a blog i don't know if i'll tell you guys the name because the blog still exists and i feel like you guys will go and look for it and go and watch and go and listen and go and read what i wrote there but you guys know that them blogs were a thing i mean i think i just got married then i just finished serving i was seven while i was here yeah, i was actually seven then and i didn't have much to do with my time so after going to school i'll come back I, yeah i was teaching in a school that was my service um what they call it primary whatever anyway post or whatever anyway so then when i come back home i'll go on the internet and i'll start writing my blog i remember then people i used to look up to in the blogging world are people like linda ikeji i remember sending linda ikeji a mail and telling her oh how she was inspiring me to start my own blog and then you know she told us stories about how she started and stuff like that so i was like oh my god i'm so inspired i sent her a mail and she responded she was like my internet you know sister kind of <laughs> I'm sure now she cannot even remember myself. I'm sure if she even comes across this video, she'll be like, eh, really, that's her point. But yeah, I sent her email, you know. So people that I used to, you know, look forward to then was there was this older woman who had a blog. The name of her blog was Wives and Mothers Connection or something, or the Mothers or Wives Connection. Yeah, the Wives Connection or something like that. Her name is Aya Ayambem or something like that. Sha. So she had a blog, and I remember how I even discovered her blog was on Linda Ikeji's blog. When Linda Ikeji post something about, you know, Rihanna and Chris Brown having an issue, Aya will now, yeah, Aya, not Aya, Aya, Aya will now go there and say things like, Rihanna, oh, uh, no, no, not even issue. Let's say they're about to get married or they're dating. She will now say, Rihanna, come to my blog, go, let me teach you how to cook a goosey soup to make, you know, Chris Brown happy, that kind of thing. So I'll be like, who is this person that is, you know, that was so hilarious? Because to me, I'm like, first of all, how will Rihanna see this blog post? And even if she sees it, she will not come to your page to come and learn how to cook a goosey soup for who? Like, it was just hilarious. So that was how I found her blog. And I used to comment on her blog a lot. Um, I remember Dobby's signature. I remember that Ibo chick. I remember Dimples. Um, Nazo Eze, Nazo Eze now on YouTube. She used to have blushes and dimples. Yes, I remember, um, um, what's her name? Auntie Flo, Auntie Flo then used to blog. She had all Nigerian recipes. Yeah, I remember her. I now had my own blog. The name of my blog was Diary of a Pleasant Heart. Okay. So I don't know why I'm shy about it, but that's why my, my podcast now is Pleasant Heart Podcast because I was like, let me just keep that name. Okay. Yeah. It was Diary of a Pleasant Heart. I used to just go there and write things and just happy. People would just come and read and I'll be happy, tell stories. Basically, youtube in a in my what i do now my youtube channel what i was doing then in blog in blog form okay so i was happy i enjoyed blogging i i enjoyed posting linking my my post on facebook and people coming there to watch so circle back remember when i talked about wives and mothers connection or wife's connection of course you know that her blog okay so then her blog was very interesting. She used to talk about, she used to post recipes and then she used to bring people's um, emails. She would bring them and post them and then we'll advise these people, right? So then, as everyone else, so people will, she will post somebody's comment or question or whatever. And as everyone else, I will drop my own response, okay? You know, either advising the person or talking about your own, you know, situation or just advising the person, basically. I will drop my own response and I'll go. 
only for me to come back and I'll see so many likes, so many. Do we still have likes then? I can't remember if we still have likes. But now I see plenty of replies. I see people, people, people really liked my responses. People used to say, Oh, you're so smart, you're so intelligent, you're so um, um not even smart, you're wise. Yeah, people say I'm so wise, I'm so wise, blah 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 blah. Trust me, it was something I've heard all my life. So it wasn't like it was making me, you know, feel on top of the world because I've heard it all my life that, oh, you're yeah, yeah, wise, you're yeah, wise, you're yeah, wise. So it just became a thing that whenever I drop comments on the woman's cha- on the woman's um, page, responding to a post, I used to get those kind of comments. So basically, I now had my own little community under the woman's page, right? Like I had uh, my own followers under the woman's followers, okay? So it was a thing, it was just a fun thing. I didn't even think too much about it. But I realized that I started getting some, you know, whenever you get so much love, you start getting hate, okay? I used to get some, I won't tell me it's hate per se, but some comments about, oh, every time Impa talking about what um, Adesi said, uh, yeah, comments like that. Anyway, so I started realizing that sometimes when maybe, I mean, it was a blog, so it's when you come and see the blog that you, you respond. So sometimes I will not respond until maybe in the, in the evening or something. I come and see her post. I will not see comments like, oh, I'm waiting for Adesi's response. I'm waiting to know what Adesi has to say. I'm waiting to know what Adesi wants to say. As in, it got so intense that people will say things like, they'll give their own response and just and now say, anyway, that's my response, but let us wait for what Adesi has to say. On someone else's blog, oh, and I was loving the attention, okay? I'm like, yeah, I was loving the attention. I loved it. I, I, I liked it. Like, I felt like, ah, like I'm, I'm, I have a community online, okay? Because it was my intention. It was the reason why I started writing blogs, blog posts in the first place. The reason why I had a blog in the first place was because I wanted a community online where we can just share, we can just talk. It's not that I'm making money. Now, making money and it's now, it's now, it's not like, wow, unbelievable, but I would have been doing YouTube even though I wasn't making money for me because it was the next logical step in my online community, you know, activities. Anyway, that was how it was then. And yeah, I'll just come, I'll drop my comment and respond to other people's comments, agree with other people, just normal how we have comment section now and how people interact in comment section. I'm sure when you go through my comments, there are one or two people that you're like, ah, I like this person's comment. So somehow the person will just become like your internet friend or someone you really like on the internet without the person having a blog. Okay, so um, what that thing did for me was that because I had a blog, people used to come to my blog because of my comments I left on other people's pages. I wasn't even advertising my own blog. Or just normal come and respond to it. Anyway, you guys get it. I think I'm going too much into that detail. You guys get it. So, my dear sister, so, and brothers, if you are watching and listening to this, so one day, I didn't know that people were, actually, I knew, but I didn't know that people have been waiting for me. Like, some people were ready for me, okay? Because it was paining people. Imagine it's paining, paining you that someone else is getting recognition in the comment section. Like, what the hell? <laughs> like, now that I'm older, I'm like, what the hell? Like, how sad is your life that it is paining you that someone else, nobody stopped you from dropping your own comment too? Okay, you dropped your own comments. Nobody looked at your comment twice. Then it is now paining you that someone else is getting attention for their own comments. Like, wow. It's like me now being pained that somebody else is getting more subscribers than I do. When... I do not expect. In fact, that one is even more is even more logical, self. If you even ask me, because maybe oh, the person is gaining something monetary from me, so maybe I'm beefing the person for that. I wasn't gaining anything from the like. Trust me, my blog was not monetized though. Nothing. Not. I was just doing it for the fun of it, for the sheer fun of it. Is what I was doing that blog for. Okay. So it's like painting people, but my I did not know. I was still you know living in the clouds. I was still doing kumbaya, thinking okay, you know that have a pleasant heart. I'm someone who likes peace. I love love. I love happiness. I might not be so mushy and emotional, but I just love to be floating in the clouds. This so is how I want my life to be. I want to, I have to have a very peaceful life. Okay, so that was the kind of person that I was. Then I was one that just wanted life to be like that let's all have this one big family kumbaya kumbaya we're so happy i don't know they were waiting for me yo. the lady now posted someone's question about something relation and okay mind you most of the questions we were getting then we are mostly relationship wise relationship marriage a little bit of child care a little bit of parenting but more about relationships okay so it's not like I'm a relationship guru or anything. No. I was only saying my points, what I think, what I felt, and people liked it and went with it. How am I to blame for that? Anyway, she now posted someone's um, question about... I've forgotten what that 
you know something about a girl a lady that wanted to get married no she was still single she wasn't even engaged she was dating and she basically wanted advice on how to deal with her boyfriend because as in how to handle her boyfriend i can't remember what the boyfriend did to her but she basically wasn't happy and she needed advice okay so mio in my usual fashion of you know feeling like i too know okay <laughs> It's not like I feel like I don't know. I was just leaving my comment like everyone else will, but maybe it came across as I don't know. I'm not telling the lady that personally, okay, I advised her. And I said, anyway, that's just my opinion, Shao, because personally, I don't like advising single women, right? You guys work with me here. And I've always said it before in my previous post, I used to say things like, I'm not really the best to come to for advice when you're single, because for me, <laughs> You shouldn't be chopping shit when you're single. I'm sorry. I don't care who the guy is. When you're single, you actually have a choice. So that is the time that you should vet everybody as much as possible. Like I used to say then that, ah, if you are still single, my dear, <laughs> you better vet the guys you want to marry very well. Because once you get married, there's really nothing to do about it. Okay. So I used to say then that, or what I said in that particular post was that I don't like, um, I don't like advising single women i prefer advising married women and my reasoning behind this like i've said in other posts before then no, was that personally i feel like okay i can advise a married woman how to manage her relationship how to manage her husband you're already in it it's not easy to just wake up and leave in fact most cases mo most women are not looking for how to leave they're looking for how to live with their situation okay not how to live but how to live okay so <laughs> i used to just advise married women more but for single women, I'll be like, you know what? Let me not talk what is really in my mind. Because if I say it, you are going to hate all the men. Because me, I used to be like, if a guy does this, leave him. If a guy does that, leave him. There's plenty of fish in the, in the river because that's how I felt. And, and I still believe that. Men are cheap. And there are plenty of fishes in the river or plenty of fish in the river. You don't have to be taking nonsense from one guy on the name of, oh, he wants to marry me, okay? Yeah, so that was how I was then. Probably because I was younger as well. It's not like my mindset has changed now that I'm older. But now that I'm older, I can understand that, yeah, the pond or the river is now becoming dry. Okay? We don't have enough fish in the river because, yeah, we don't have enough good fish in the river. The type you really want, they are not really plenty. Okay? So I made that comment though and I left. And that was it, right? Then, the next day, I came back to the blog and I saw a comment with plenty likes. You see how all of you like us? That's why today, eh, there's nothing that anybody can do to me on the internet that will really bother me. Like, <laughs> that's why I've never really been bothered by negative comments of this one said this or that one said that because I've seen it all, okay? Like, I have seen it all. Some of you actually do not like us, but you are just on our pages because you are waiting for the day that something bad will happen, right? Some of you that even come and claim to like us, some of you that send us messages, some of you that send us mail, some of you that sit us on the road and greet us, you actually don't like us. And it's okay. But what is not okay is now taking a step further to go and bully the person just because you don't like them, okay? So, and it's basically very common with women. I'm sorry to say, it's very common with women to be very catty, to be very manipulative, to be doing underground, you know, underground then, what would I call it now? underground them um, it's almost like witch like witch witchcraft kind of character which you're just a witch <laughs> it was a witch underground under they'll be pinching you underground and come and be smiling in your face i'm not saying men don't do it but we men we are baba when it comes to that maybe it's because now we discuss with the snake in the in the in the it was eve that is not discussed with the snake in the garden so maybe he thought out other things that we did not hear about because i don't know where that character came from anyway so this comment was hey hey very vile about how I am looking down on single women. If anybody knows me, I have never looked down on anybody who is single simply because I'm married. I remember when I was even in training school, they used to tell me that they didn't even know I was married. And even the fact that I was married, I was a cool married woman. That's what they used to say. That I was a cool married woman. When I'm in training school, I'm in training school when I just when I got a job and I stayed in training school for four months with other mostly single pe single people. I think there's only one or two people that were married there. Almost every other person was single. So this time I had, I was one of the cool married women because I, I wasn't looking down on people that are single. To me, I remember one day, I even had an, an altercation, not serious altercation, but exchange of words with somebody. And, I was, and she was telling me, you, you, even as a married woman or something. And I was like, eh, 
please, 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 please. There is no difference between me and you. As you have boyfriend is the way I have husband. Don't think that because I have husband, I am now supposed to act in a certain way. And because you don't have hus husband, you are not supposed to be acting stupid. No, there's no difference between the two of us. So, I mean, but seriously, what's the difference? To me, there's no difference. The way you have a boyfriend is the way I have a husband. So don't come and start making it look as if I'm supposed to have more sense than you because you have, or you're not supposed to have sense because you don't have husband. Okay. Anyway, I have digressed for the umpteenth time. So back to that comment how i'm looking at, i'm looking down on single women how i'm just so full of myself how because people are always praising me i feel like i'm all that and this one that one that one that i hate single women that i'm always fighting i'm always um, attacking single women and i was like <laughs> who are you talking about you know when you're legit confused like i was legit confused i was like is it me or is it someone else that they're talking about on this you know in these comments because it was it was weird okay so I saw the replies she had quite a number of replies some people were in fact a lot of people were actually defending me but we had many people too that were also you know attacking me as well and i was like what did i do what did i say i went back to the comment again and read you several times i was like what exactly did i say in this comment i even responded to the lady and told the lady that sorry oh in case you are misconstruing what i meant this is what i meant when i say i don't like advising i didn't even say i don't advise single women i said i don't like doing this because i know myself to me any, anything you say once it sounds one kind in my ear i'm like you don't have to take this what are you doing there leave him leave him if you, <laughs> if you follow my mouth you won't have any husband in this life because i will tell you to leave all of them <laughs> anyway so and I explained to her that this is what I meant though. I explained myself, oh, she was like, no, that's not what I meant. That why did I put single women in, in bracket? And what did I do that I put single women in capital? Or, and I, no, I put married women in capital. So it meant that I was downplaying single women. Well, so I don't see if you ask me now what really, what really that lady was all about, I can't tell you. It was just witchcraft, okay? Anyway, how and you know, the lady's name was something Scorpion. So uh, obviously she was acting out her name. Name of her blog was something Scorpion or something. Anyway, so um yeah, that was how you know that comments blew up. And after that, I started getting a lot of hate. When I say a lot of hate, I mean a lot of hate. It was almost like either people that didn't like me now started coming online, or people who were pretending to like me before now changed their mind or i don't know what it was but i was getting a lot of hate i was getting when i when i drop any comments i'll get hate replies even though i still got a lot of love i'm still going to emphasize that so many people still liked me so many people still you know we are defending me fighting for me self everywhere but a lot of people were just attacking me on as if for no reason i, I, I would drop comment or attack that, everything attack 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 i was like what is going on what did i do to you did i snatch your husband did i steal your father did i steal your child what exactly is going on you know so i kept getting that hate i, I kept getting the hate but i still did not lie stop me i was still writing my post i was still commenting i was still you know um doing my own blog as well i started getting the hate comments on my blog i'll delete them i'll get even more i'll go to bed wake up in the morning i'll see plenty hate comments what did i do nothing no i didn't saw somebody's father i did not sleep i, I was if, anyway so but i just kept leave, i kept you know managing this because i was like i love being online i got a lot of love as well so i was trying to focus on the love but at the same time i now got a job and that was when i now went to training school like i said okay um, but before that training school, or around that time I got a job, no, before I, I think it's even before I got the job that I just noticed that I became more withdrawn. Like I wasn't enjoying that online space anymore because of the number of hate I was getting, not even on my comments on the ladies blog, but because of my, the one that was coming to my own page, I didn't really like it. So I would delete, I wouldn't be so, and I now became busy as well. Actually, I think because I became busy. I now because then I used to sew, I used to make dresses and sell for kids. So because I became busy, I didn't really have that much time to go and be fighting hate or trying to make comments or whatever. So at some point I even stopped commenting on the ladies' page. And then when I came back one day and I commented, and I started saying, Oh, people, oh, okay, though, before when I stopped, I started saying, because I used to read her past, I still used to read her page, but I wasn't commenting. So when I read, I'll see many comments about where's her daisy, where's her daisy, where is she? I can't wait. As in, I really miss her comment, I really miss, as in, the love started coming back again. Mm. But I was like, I beg you, you should carry your wallet and go, Joe. <laughs> you should carry your wallet and go. So that was it, though. I now, I now started reducing the way I was engaging on her page. What broke the camel's back for me and Every time I remember this thing here, I'm like, people are so evil. 
somehow some people actually found my Facebook page hmm, and they now knew my full name. And then from there, they found my husband's page, right? Or my husband's name. I don't think they found his page, but they found his name somehow. Because my husband is not a social media person. Like, yeah, you won't see anything about him online. Maybe you will see uh, just a little bit, but he's not someone that has that is a social media person. Like, I think after we got married, you know how women used to get married and delete everything. After we got married, my husband was the one that deleted everything. Maybe he has found what he came to do from Facebook. So he now deleted everything. So he didn't have much on Facebook. So there, there was there wasn't really much to see about my husband. So this person, okay, this evil person that now found my profile, took my name, took my husband's name created a page okay that was very close to my own page like created a name at daisy jade or something like that okay now went on other blogs hmm? and was writing the most vile and vicious things there about other people right so not about me yo the person goes to other blogs and say things like um let me tell you something my husband is the best in bed okay all of you are just runs girls all of you are just terrible i don't know i don't even know how to explain it what i'm even saying is even nice compared to what the person was saying those kind of comments that you was was created curated to actually inspire hate to make people hate me right so i'll see this comment and people will go under there and insult her insult my husband that's the person who insults her insults my husband and i'm like i'll now go under the person's comment again and, and say this is not my page oh. i never said such a thing this is not my you know the person will delete my own comment and leave her own comments you know so the person will just take my name go on other blogs go on stella stella damascus uh, stella Dala, damascus no not damascus stella who know that blog stella dimoko cocos right right mm -hmm. so this person will go on that stella's blog go and write things about me go on one lila's blog write things about me ah <sighs> that thing annoyed the hell out of me eh? and why it annoyed me was dragging my husband into it like that was so low okay but what that thing taught me funny enough at the end of the day is like first of all think about it the kind of people that come to blogs to fight right to fight other people, to fight with you, or to fight you about your comments, those kind of people are not your typical, everyday, sensible human beings. These are frustrated, sick people who are looking for who to frustrate with their frustration, okay? Yeah, so that's what it taught me. I just, that's what actually made me, you know, just say, you know what, I let it go, like, I move on. It was when I came to that realization... Oh, Google, mind your business now. It was when I came to that realization that I now relax and I told myself, you know what, one day is going to be over. This has come to pass. It's not going to last forever. The more I try to fight it, the more the person, you know, puts fuel and fire in it. Like I was putting fuel and fire in it by fighting it because the, the person now felt that, oh, it's getting to how. That's why she's coming to respond, you know. So the person kept doing it and doing it. Because how I even knew about it was because I wasn't even a follower of um, Stella, Stella the Stella blog, I wasn't a follower of her blog, people come and miss me and say, Ada, why did you leave that comment on Stella's blog? And I'm like, which comment? Like, I don't even go to this person's, I don't even go to this person's blog. So what do you mean, you know? So I'll now go there, I'll now see the comment, I'll now be like, what the hell, man? I'll now respond. At some point, at some point I even reached out to Stella to see if she can help me delete the person's um, comments because I was like, it's not even about me this time. It's about my husband. This is clearly a case of online bullying. And, you know, the person was defaming my husband, defaming my character. He still has said, no, even answer myself. Anyway, I don't blame her, Sha. But basically, this went on for a while. And I was like, I can't deal with this nonsense anymore. That was how I just focused on my blog i stopped commenting on people's blogs i focused on my blog and then i got a job so even the blogging self i couldn't keep up anymore so that's when i got my banking job i couldn't keep up anymore so i just left the whole thing all together and then i started my job and then after two years basically i resigned from my job and i was like i'm going to go back to blogging but like nah nobody reads anymore personally i don't read anymore i wasn't like i mean i don't read anymore i'm kind of person that if i even look for something online i go and look for the video of it i don't want to read anything and if i have to read i used to skip and if i go to something that doesn't have bullet points that, that highlight the major points i'm gonna skip it okay so 
that was why i decided to just go into video format and go to youtube and instead have a video a vlog okay video blog which is a vlog okay a vlog channel i decided to have this channel and that's it okay so that was how I was basically bullied off the internet not really they didn't bully me off because even when i left the hate was no longer there the bullying was no longer there when i left but i just left because life happened and then instead of returning back to it i created this vlog and i'm happy at the end of the day what they intended to use and you know defeat me it didn't affect me in the long run i'm still better i'm still on the internet giving my unsolicited opinion on things <laughs> both solicited and almost unsolicited i am still on the internet i'm still giving my i'm still giving my opinion people still like me people still take what i say so at the end of the day waiting you gain after everything waiting you gain that's it that's my story so if you eventually can find my blog please keep your opinion to yourself <laughs> I had no sense. I used to write dead. Keep it to yourself. You know, I cringe so hard when I remember that blog. I don't even want to go back to it. That's how bad it is. I don't want to go back to it. I don't even want to go and know what's happening there. I think one day recently I got an alert that somebody commented on my blog and I was like, eee, from where? No, 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 no. Okay. And also, I have gotten some comments from people who are asking if I am the same person. Um, I got a mail from someone. I think that's what even inspired this video. Although I've had this video written down ever since i started youtube but i didn't want at, at some point i changed my mind about telling the story because i didn't want people to go and find that blog okay <laughs> but when i got that comment it just reminded me of old times reminded me of you know people that really really liked me then because she told me that oh she really likes my blog and she really misses me and all of that so i'm just like you know what let me just come and give some sort of explanation about what happened and why i left blogging and in case you remember that at Daisy and you liked her this is me she's i so please follow click that subscribe button okay let's let's continue our gist and our you know kumbaya <laughs> let's continue it now and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and listening and i'll see you all in my next episode bye guys